Security cameras capture teacher Ashley Silas dragging the first grader through the halls of Brooks Elementary School in Bullock County. She's got one hand on him, the other on her cell phone as the six-year-old shifts his limp body to his knees while passing fellow students and teachers. Since he stops and gets a better grip and then pulls him more. The boy's parents asked us to hide their identity but didn't hide their emotions as the family walked us through the video. So when you're watching this now, what are you thinking? I get, I get a sick feeling in my stomach. The teacher eventually reaches the office with the six-year-old, one eye on him, the other still on that phone. Investigators measured the distance she dragged the student at 160 feet. That's roughly the length of this entire hallway. The teacher said she had no other choice because the six-year-old had become disruptive, was threatening another student, and refused to walk on his own. His parents say he is diagnosed with ADHD, but can't take medication because of the side effects, and they're working with the school system to improve his behavior. The teacher later told a three-member review board, known as the Tribunal, that she wasn't harming the student, and that the boy was actually enjoying sliding down the hall and being the center of attention. So, I asked him about that. Were you having fun when she dragged you through the hall? You're shaking your head no. It wasn't fun? <laughs> no. She said you were having fun. No way. The Bullock County Superintendent fired Silas almost immediately, but that tribunal she appealed to overturned the decision, reducing her punishment to a seven-week suspension without pay for conduct unbecoming a teacher. Now she's back at work, making more than $48,000 a year, reassigned as a floating teacher in classrooms all over Bullock County. The attorney for the school system said they didn't want to hire her back, but the tribunal appeal system left them no other choice. Is this a broken system, a broken law that needs to be fixed? In our opinion, it is as it's being implemented today. You're dragging a child 160 feet by his wrist, um, past his peers and other teachers and, and a parent who's, who's in the office. I mean, in what world is that okay?